Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to pimp up XP. Now, you may be finding XP a bit boring, but you don't want to quite update to Windows 7 because it may slow your computer down, or you like Windows XP for some reason. I quite like it because it's a very successful operating system, one of the most successful I think. Um, and you can make it look like you've got an Apple computer, or near as damn it an Apple computer like the looks of it and then you can make it look like a Windows 7 computer as well now you may have noticed that mine looks a bit like Windows 7 not incredibly like Windows 7 but it's slightly it's more similar than the normal XP and the startup screen and the shutting down screen is a lot similar um, very similar and if I go on my computer you see the the controls on this are different. You can go on control panel and you find all this is different also. It's very nice. I find I quite like it. You the recycling bins, the logo for a lot of things are different. Now, to get to the point, I did this using a simple program called Custo Pack Tools. Now I doubt you'll have heard of this because it's not very well advertised but in my experience there's been no viruses or bugs whatsoever um, as long as you have an antivirus uh, running and maybe an anti-malware uh, you should be alright to go on it. I have never had a virus from it so I doubt there is. I think it's just a health program. Um, this basically just changes the look of your computer, of, well, of your operating system. It's compatible with Vista, um, XP, and Windows 7, I think. And it will change it. It doesn't slow your computer down at all. So, just. And you can always turn it off, you see. This is one of the good things. You can turn thing, it off, and it would just be fine, kind of thing. Uh, it would go back to normal. And then you can switch from themes. Yeah, the, I, I would describe them as themes rather than changing your operating system. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on Custo Pack Tools. Here we have it, and you can download Custo Pack Tools by typing Custo Pack Tools into Google, and the site will come up, and then you can click download. It's a free download. And then you can you download. From their site, you download these themes or a custo pack. You can create your own. That's a bit more complicated, but you can do it. Or you can customize one that's already been made. So let's go ahead and click on choose custo pack. Here we go. And these are the ones I have at the moment. You see, I've got uh, seven. Inspire it 1.0. Uh, if I click on this pack preview, here we go. And this is on Windows Vista at the moment. If you go on to where, and then you see uh, it changes all the folders and stuff. That's how the startup screen looks like. Etc. This is Windows XP. This is the one I have, and it also installs quite a neat little program called Rocket Dock. That you may have seen in my, that in my other videos. It's the the like uh, toolbar at the top where it's got different icons you can click on. It's pretty cool. It installs that with it, and then it's pretty awesome, really. And that's how it looks up. You see. You can customize all this, by the way. And then you can install that one if you like it. And then we've got the iMod. This is more of an Apple thing. I sometimes use this one. So you've got this one. That's how it looks when it starts up. Um, there we go. It's in a different language at the moment, but that one. It also comes with the custom pack, uh, the Rocket Dot. And you see it's slightly different and all the the looks, uh, all the icons are kind of apple kind of looking and then 
so on and so forth. That's how it looks. Got those different colors for the minimize, maximize, and uh, exit in the right hand corner of things. It's quite a nice one. I prefer the Windows 7 one at the moment because I don't know. This is just, it's just pretty cool, really. And then you can restore theme, default Windows theme. That will take you back. Then you can also download more custom packs. I don't think there's many custom packs available, actually. Otherwise, I think I would have downloaded them. But you can always check. Remember, you can customize these ones. So I might customize one myself, actually. So that is custom pack tools. I will recommend it. I don't think there's any viruses. I'm pretty sure because I've never had one with it. Um, I think they're just trying to help. It looks pretty cool. It doesn't slow down your computer. Basically, it sums up. If you want to change, get this, and you can always restore it. So, I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much, and I will hope to see you in my next video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.